Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before I dive into this video, which is about how spells work, I really wanted to give a quick shout out to H&M's 2017 Halloween collection that they came out with this awesome hoodie that says, With My Witches. And I was like, yes, H&M, yes! I don't know about you, but when it's Halloween time, that's when I go out and I look for all the, ween, all the Halloween related things and then I purchase them and then I wear them throughout the year or I keep them decorated up around my space. That's just me, including this beautiful skull, but I actually got that in New Orleans, but that's neither here nor there. The reason why you're watching this video today is because you want to understand and learn how spells work and I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to talk about this, number one, because there's this misconception and this stigma around spells and forcing will and it's making people feel guilty it's making them feel bad about doing spell work for themselves or even this curious energy of just like I wonder how like I wonder what would happen if I did a spell and then that energy that they put out there with this guilt and this these bad feelings that they have when they're doing a spell it kind of like re it makes the spell kind of backfire it makes the work kind of backfire it makes it fizzle out and then they're like this doesn't work or it does work but I feel bad that it worked so this is going to help to dispel that notion also I feel like for any type of beginner witch it's really important for you to understand your spell work and how it's working and how it's doing it thing so that being said let's go ahead and dive in so what a spell basically is is something that it is that you set into motion in order to create a desired outcome so whether you're working with candle magic or writing things down or fire magic or whatever it is that your method is that you're gravitating towards it's intention that you're setting in order to make something happen that is connected to what it is that you want for yourself or for another person what this requires is for you to at least know exactly what it is that you want if you know what it is that you want you can state it you could put it out there to the universe and the universe will respond to you it's kind of like laws of attraction when you're doing spell work what it is that you're doing is you're kind of opening the door energetically for what it is that you want for yourself to come in the only way that what you want can come in is if it simultaneously wants you to unless you're doing black magic or any type of dark magic or spell work you really can't force something into your life that is not meant to be there or not destined to be there. That's why I wanna clear up this notion about spell work and what it is and how it works. A spell can't work and bring in something into your life if that thing doesn't also choose you. So if you have positive intent and if you're working with white magic and positive magic and, and positive intention, then the energy that you're putting out there, the words that it is that you speak and the work that it is that you're doing, it has to choose you as well. So when you're doing a spell, basically what you're doing again is opening the door so that that thing can notice you and come into your life. You're pretty much nudging whatever that object is, whether it be a person, a job, an opportunity, travel, whatever it is, you're pretty much nudging it into, into your life and creating the environment, the foundation for it to come to fruition. Let's say you're focusing on love and you want to attract your soulmates. You want to attract your twin flame. And when you do that spell work, you write down the traits of the person that it is that you want. You want, you write down the traits of the relationship that it is that you want. And then you put it out there for the universe by doing your magic, by working your magic. When you're doing that, you're not only triggering within yourself the okay, the go ahead, that you are ready for this energy and and you're asking for it to come into your life but by working your magic by working your intention by working your focus because when I do my spell work it's all about my focus it's all about my mind it's all about my words and my vision so when you work your magic and when you're doing your spell work you are internally creating the environment for you to receive that because you are stating that you are ready to receive it and you are doing the steps to signal to the universe and signal to energy and everything has energy you're signaling that you're putting that vibe out that you are ready for whatever it is that you want to come into your life on the flip side that energy kind of radiates out it works kind of like a ripple effect so whatever it is that matches your vibe when you're doing that spell and when you're setting that intention is going to internally hear that call and respond to it and come to you accordingly so let's say you do a love spell and you put it out there for the universe and a week later 
Tinder, you, you get a mysterious phone call or you get matched on Tinder or you're out going grocery shopping and you see and meet this amazing person or this person approaches you and notices you and then they just kind of check all the boxes off of your list of the intention that you set when you were doing the spell. Chances are in today's society, the majority of us spend so much time looking on our phones or being distracted that we don't realize who's in our environment. So the fact that you did a spell the week before you met this person who ends up being your soulmate or your twin flame, it, it ended up opening the door for you guys to come together at the right place at the right time. That, por that person wasn't forced into your life. They were kind of nudged in the direction if their spirit felt comfortable and was open to it as well. Now that person simultaneously has to be ready to match your vibe. So let's say that person doesn't want a long-term relationship or doesn't want marriage or whatever the case is, then it kind of sometimes is a reflection on where you were at or maybe you had fear with making that commitment when you did the spell work. So you wanna make sure that when you're doing your work that the vibration that it is that you're putting out there is ready for what it is that you wish to receive. And if it isn't, then you have to do everything on your end in order to make sure that you're ready and that you're prepared. The same thing is true when you are working spells for work and career opportunities. You're not forcing a person out of their job unless that person, whoever has the job that it is that you're dreaming of or wishing for unless they have aged out of it or they don't want that position anymore. If anything, when you're doing your spell work and things get tweaked around and adjusted around in order to make room for you, you're just kind of helping people to kind of go into, fall into place to with where they should go or where they are, they're where they're destined to go ultimately and that's one thing that it is that you want to say when you're doing your spell work is to make sure that all of what you're doing is for everyone's highest and greatest good highest and greatest good including yourself that way you're harming none you're harming no one in fact you doing your spell work usually benefits most people because even your enemies will be positioned in a place that's for their betterment out of your hair out of your environment out of your aura simply because you set the intention or you did the spell work to banish negative people from your, your living space or from your energy field, then you'll find that they either get distracted by certain things or they get a job opportunity of their lifetime that they wanna take that moves them out of your energy field. So you're free to feel comfortable wherever it is that you are because of the spell work that it is that you did. So doing spell work is not a negative thing. It doesn't have to be a negative thing unless you're trying to force things, unless you're trying to hurt other people, or unless you're you have bad intent, you have bad will. Doing spell work actually helps other people and that's how your magic should be. What you're doing for yourself should benefit the greater good. If you're happy and if you're feeling whole, then everyone benefits from you being in a space of positive joy, love, and light. So this is a really quick video on how spells work, but essentially it's the vibe that is that you put out there just kind of helps to rearrange circumstances and events so that you're at the right place, the right time, and that person, that thing chooses you because it is also ready. And when you do the spell work, you're helping to nudge whatever that opportunity is or whatever that person is into a place where they simultaneously choose you and you can live happily ever after living the life of your dreams. And the beautiful thing is, is that it was all under your control. It was all in your hands. You were able to create your own reality. You were able to create the life of your dreams. There's something really deeply empowering and powerful in that. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, this video is really short, but I hope that it helped you and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for sharing, commenting, and giving the thumbs up buttons. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.